Welcome guys to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to show you how I did my own face mask classification model by using TensorFlow framework, by using MediaPipe library, library, and by using my own custom dataset. So simply, I use this webcam to capture images. But the fact is that I only need face of human. And to do that task, I import MediaPipe library from MediaPipe library, library the face detection, object detection, face detection model. And from this webcam, the image goes to the media pipe model and from media pipe model i receive coordinates of my face in that image and i took that part of face in that image and i saved it as another file so here i have 100 images 50 images with mask and 50 images without mask to make my data set balanced so let me to show you some examples so here's examples of me, myself with mask. So here with black mask, is with white mask. And if we go to part zero, to folder zero, here's images without mask of myself. So here, simply like that. And I took all of these images to train my model. So let's dive into our Jupyter Notebook. So here, in this Jupyter Notebook, I use TensorFlow framework and I set image size as 128. But according to Kaggle computer vision course, I set page size as 64, but I'm not sure why I put 64. I put 128 for image size, assuming that my pre-trained pre model will have pre-trained model VGG16 will have will require me to have the image size of 128 to 128. So this image dataset from directory function from TensorFlow is very great so that I just give the directory of that classes, it automatically takes that images from that directory and reshapes them, gives them batch size and do other operations. The same for test and the same for validation. So here's a proof that this function is works very well. After that, I convert these images into TensorFlow Flow 32 to decrease computational power cost. So then I do that and I map that function into this uh, variable. And after that, I import this VWG16 model which is already pre-trained and I will set as a false to not train this model. And then we will use sequentials in order to create our model architecture. So first layer will be this pre-trained base model. And after that, as output from this layer, we will give flattened layer to make the output as a one dimensional and then we will put this result output to the dense layer with six filter and activation relu. And the last layer will be dense layer too, but with activation of sigmoid. So sigmoid range of sigmoid is from zero to one. And so if result from this layer is 0 0.8, for example, it belongs to class one. If the result less than 0 0.5, it belongs to class 0. But we can customize this uh, condition too. 
After this, we will compile the model. As a compile, compilation of model, we will use binary cross entropy, then optimizer Adam. Adam very popular. People always usually use Adam. And then as a matrix, I will use accuracy. Accuracy is good metrics for classification, especially for my for my case because I have fifty images for each class. They are balanced, and there is no problem with misunderstanding with mis clearness of accuracy. So after that, I will fit this model. So I will take the images. So this variable, and I will give epochs as ten. And then I will give validation data, so validation data, and then let's see, it's working. So important thing that interesting is that interesting thing is that binary accuracy is improving, and it reached almost 100 because our images are only 100. In that case, that. It's a piece of cake for this model to learn from these images. So, before 10, it's already hit the accuracy level of 100 because for validation, there are only 14 images. For train, there are only 32, 78, 72 images. They are small. After that, I will evaluate them. So, evaluation is great 100 and 100. After that, I will save this model. I will save this model into this directory, as this name and this folder contains all contain will contain all parameters of this current model. So this model I look from Kaggle. So Kaggle course helped me a lot, and by looking to that Kaggle course, I use this pre-trained model. I decided to import this also. So let's go to important file. So in this Python file, I use MediaPy to capture my face in image. TensorFlow to load that pre to load my loaded model and run it. CV I use CV tool for image manipulation for putting text into the image for reading the image from webcam and etc. So here are parameters of media pipe. Then I give some other uh, static parameters for color thickness. So I capture video, I give some other parameters and I load important thing is that I load that image. Uh, I load that model. And here's normalizer to pixel coordinate. It means that output of face detection model of media pipe gives us normalized output. And I need to make them as a pixel coordinates in order to take that image. So here is main while loop so that I will take that image and I will change it from BGR to RGB and then give it to face detection model. I will take it back, I will change the color back and I will detect and I will receive the coordination of my face in the image and I will draw a rectangle into the image and I will take my face. So this is my face coordinates. I will take my face and I will resize it to 128, 128, and I will put them as an NP array and I will ex expand the dimension, dimension because in TensorFlow model asks one more dimension. So I will put this thing into model and I will look if the model output is less than 0 0.5 it will equal to 0 which means that this face has no mask otherwise this face has a mask so this is not important and then i will put that text with mask and without mask 
And here's exception. Why I use exception? Because not every image has a face. And for example, before running or while running this code, I, if I take that webcam, and if there is no face detected, then there will be some kind of errors or some kind of mistakes. So to avoid that kind of exceptions, I use try and accept function, easy function, and then the main function to show that frame. Here is wait function, wait key and quit function. And so that's all. So let's see, let's see how it will work. So here it's running. So this is, so this means that TensorFlow is running. Mm, let's wait a little bit. So it's already showing results. So here it's me. I know the output from camera is a little bit slow. So here's my face without mask. Let me to wear mask. So it shows that I have a mask. Great. If I take it off, it says that there is no mask. So here, model is working. So yeah, that's all. Interesting project. The very good thing is that I use my own images but they are so limited so small so here so small but actually they are working very well thank you very much for watching this video please don't forget to subscribe and press thumb up uh, thumb up icon thank you bye